Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I am Kareem Clemens. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for following me. This right here is Kareem in the morning. At this time, I would like to run my disclaimer. This channel and these videos are not meant for the children under the age of 13. Warning, Omega Studio News and Talk Show T, Kareem in the morning, you must be over the age of 18. At this time, I will run the disclaimer. Okay, welcome, welcome, welcome to Kareem in the Morning. Again, I'm Kareem. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for following me. Uh, this right here, right now, we're going to move right on with the situation. Good morning. Oh, you guys, I peeped the blog page. Um, yeah, so go ahead and go up on the blog page. Sorry, I'm eating some Omega 3. And uh, probably get some cherry delight. All right. So, blog page, Kareem J. Clemens. Yeah, that's me. I love myself. Born 1981 as an American citizen journalist. He is best known for his videos on YouTube, gaming, and Facebook blogging. Come get your life with learning who I am, all about me, and just even you know, interacting with me on uh, social media like Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. But these are just some of the comments here and videos where you can find me on social media. All right, but let me just go ahead and move on. This is going to be a, mm, I always say short, but it always turns out long, long video. Hold on. So, I want to say a shout out to Religious Wink TV because I ran across our community, community page and this story here that I actually, uh, you know, I, I actually seen it, but I wanted to talk about it because it definitely, definitely blew my mind. And I was kind of like really flabbergasted by the situation. And this story right here is, a, and, and I've seen the story. The story was that a, a 14 year old was missing in New Jersey. And for some strange reason, it got immediate attention. And then next thing you know, boom. They find her alive. Then this story comes out, mother arrested. Now, Yo, I'm keeping it real here because I am really pissed off. And again, I said my disclaimers earlier, I'm really pissed off because the fact is, is that when the story of the woman or the young girl who was missing and she turned up dead and her boyfriend went missing and he turned up allegedly dead and then the family, boom, nothing happens. You don't hear nothing on the news. All the time you turn on the news, you always hear about it's searching for him, it's searching for him, it's searching for him. When we hear about this story, they search for her, they found her alive, thank God. But now here, mother of 14-year-old girl who went missing for almost a month is arrested. 
Now let's see why she was arrested. Now, according to this, is coming from social media network, social media news. Right here, the 39-year-old woman of East Orange, New Jersey, who 14-year-old went missing, was found safe in New York City on Thursday, has been charged with two counts of second-degree endangerment welfare of a child, authorities have said. Now, I'm not going to even compare this story with the other story because, and look, the only reason why I shout out Religious, Religious Wing TV is because um, I thought, well, she said she was going live. I didn't see any um, broadcast uh, of her talking about it because I wanted to chime in on the situation. But, you know, because this story is kind of crazy. And here it is. And I'm just going to put it out there. You got black versus white. And a white family in Florida, you got a black family here in New Jersey. They reach out to the media, they reach out to the media. The media just reaches out to anybody because it is what it is. Okay? They daughter missing with this guy who pretty much went hiking and turned up dead. I don't know. It's it's crazy because I'm saying in my mind he's a suspect. They're saying he's not a suspect. Then all of a sudden she's dead, he's missing families uh, in the home, no charges, nothing, like nothing, nothing happens. All you hear in the news, they search and search and whatever. Cameras outside the door, boom. Then once when he's, uh, the, the bodies of, of some t- some bones allegedly appears out of nowhere, they say that he's dead. And then you don't hear nothing on the news. But here you hear this story and I, I believe I've seen this woman actually uh you know talking on the news asking for the return of her child and boom the 39 year old actually they said allegedly had physically a physically and 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 physically physical abuse and neglect the children okay 14 year old and a three year old has been taken from this 39 year old woman one of the 14 year old who was missing and and i don't know if this girl left because she left and she was being abused or she left because sometimes people think they grown i'm grown i can do whatever i want you know what i mean and just went on about her business or she felt like she was being abused and she couldn't reach out to anybody and she just said enough is enough damn it i'm going to new york and boom okay so she was arrested the team was found safe in New York. They don't say where at in New York. They said New York City. On Thursday, she was had last been seen near yeah, Delhi and her home in East Orange on the morning of October 14. And we're already in, we're in November. So she'd been gone for almost like a month. You might as well say a month. Okay, so she's actually, the, the 39-year-old, we're not saying her name, 39-year-old was, um, uh, 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 and she's in jail, but let me see if she has a bail. But according to social media, they're saying that there was a reward out for whereabouts had grew to nearly 20k. Okay, 20k. Uh, so and 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 check this out. And, and, and you're right, you're right, you're right, Kareem. You're right, Kareem. Kareem, you're right. Because this, she said, she did not run away. This is what the mother said, 39 year old said on the cameras. And I told you guys that I remember seeing the footage of her, like just a snippet. This is what she said. She's in a quote. She did not run away. She was adopted. She was adopted. I don't know who did it, but we're looking for you. That's what she said at a news conference. Okay. Over the weekend, the teams had uh, came out with so much, uh, you know, um, technology, handing out papers and People were passing out to the fire department. They was actually going out there looking for this 14-year-old in New Jersey. Doing all this in New Jersey while she over there in New York. Okay? So here we have a little bit of statistics coming from social media. While cases of white women have been given more focus and urgency, people of color are disappearing at proportional rate disproportional rate black people make up 35 percent of missing people reported by only 13 percent of the united states population according to 2020 fbi data meanwhile white people make up 34 okay 34 
of the U.S. population. According to 2020 FBI data, white people make up 54% of missing people reported and 76% of the U.S. population. Okay, so listen, I broke this news on social media network, and I want to go ahead and break some more news right here, right now on Kareem in the Morning. I told you guys a story about Travis Scott. Travis Scott, let me just go ahead and pull me up. Travis Scott concert at Astro Rural, Astro Rural actually killed a lot of people and injured a lot of people. And the people that had died during that concert, uh, uh, Travis Scott and his organization uh, agreed to pay for the funeral services of those who was killed at that uh, 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 um, gathering. We have just now learned right now that another person, another person has died. Breaking news, a nine-year-old, a nine-year-old has died from his injuries. Now, a lot of people say there's there's a pro there's a pro and there's a con to the situation. Now I don't know why Nayo is doing what Nayo is doing at that con concert, but that's another story. Uh, Nayo passed away. Uh, I can tell you that at some point they had took him over to uh, Children's Hospital in Texas because that's where he passed away uh, after he being on life support, and they. I can tell you that they they put him in a, a, a medical induced coma, something like what they put at Bobby Christina Brown, the late Bobby Christina Brown, the late Whitney Houston's daughter. OK, so something that they put her in and they put him in an induced coma. And I'm not really sure that if anything, if you can think or even look at those photos or even see the videos of those people like being smushed and like I was watching a couple of videos on Twitter and I was like oh my god what the f is going on here what is going on here people were saying that they were smushed and as the people moved they moved and it was just that that's how many people it was and I want to correct myself I said it was probably 20,000 no it was over 50,000 people there at that concert Mind you, this is a concert that was canceled pre the pandemic that had happened in 2020. And then since everything was reopening, they decided to let this ride and boom. Unbelievable. He died at Texas Children's Hospital. And I can tell you that this will be one of the funeral services that he will be paying for. But I can tell you that the family had now hired Ben Crump. Okay, Ben Crump tells the, by the way, the family is attorney, says that they are grieving, grieving this incomprehensible loss of their precious young son. And this should not have been the outcome of taking their son to a concert. Unbelievable. That's why I'm gagging. I'm gagging. I'm gagging because how the f is a nine year old at a concert? Was it other nine-year-olds there? I don't know. I don't know if it was other nine-year-olds there. I just know it was a lot of people there. So my opinion, shouldn't have been there. Shouldn't have been there. I don't know, but, and, and, and this is Kareem in the morning, okay, the opinions, and I got to actually make a, um, a, a post about that, like this opinions, like flash it, this opinions that are here said on Kareem in the morning show right here, right now, are just my opinions only, okay? I actually and y'all better go over there and get your life on that that uh let me pull that up for y'all again get get your life on the blog page because it tells you i'm a citizen journalist bitch okay i'm a citizen journalist praise god from whom all blessings flow okay so yes 
Um, he's he's now the attorney because you know they're gonna sue. They're gonna sue. The family who the funeral arrangements is gonna sue, and uh, other people who were injured they're gonna sue because they need their bills paid because they were there. But my thing is this: once when they see a certain amount of people that was there, they should have closed that shit down. I don't understand. I thought once when you, uh, ha especially coming out of the pandemic, okay, aren't there protocols? Were there protocols? I mean, nine and ten. Some states was fighting like, oh, you can't go into certain areas without being vaccinated or having a mask on. So I'm saying like, what was the motherfucking <laughs> word on a capacity level, bitch? Okay, I know it was outside, but damn, the capacity level. But I'm just still shocked about this nine-year-old being at this concert. Y'all want me to continue to read what the attorney said, right? Okay, so he's saying that, um, let me see. Uh, yeah, what should have been a joyful celebration? I don't understand how you get a, a joyful celebration. It depends on where he was at, Kareem. Like, depends on what part he was at what um oh my god i love that show i'll get on that show next i'm, I'm gonna get on that show next oh yeah, yeah yeah i'm gonna get on that show. i love watching that show but um i uh i i, I he, he's basically saying that you know what should have been a joyful celebration his death is, his death is absolutely heartbreaking and we're committed to seeking answers and justice for him and his family uh but this they stand in solidarity and grief and prayers for the family the nine-year-old who had succumbed from his injuries so uh, we know that he's he's the attorney. He's the attorney, excuse me. We know that he's an attorney. Oh, he, he released this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cover letter. Oh, this is beautiful. I love the DC. Oh, okay, okay. But you can, you can find that Ben Crump at Ben Crump on Twitter, Ben Crump Law. Okay, go follow him. Let's have a moment of silence for the nine-year-old who passed away. Okay. All right. So I'm pretty much sure. I'm pretty sure. Pretty much sure. Okay. I'm pretty much sure that uh, they will take care of that. They will see justice. And again, I'm just like really flabbergasted. What the f is a nine year old boy doing at a concert? I understand, you know, they got the whole people going over there to go buy the McDonald's and you got the kids going over there buying the whole Travis Scott McDonald's. But come on now. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Somebody. All right. Let's move on next. Let's move on next. So, let's, and so yeah. So, I want to go ahead and, um, go to this here now i don't have any uh like footage but i'm just gonna really talk about it because i want to talk about it because it's my okay shout out to the paul norwood shout out to the ball to paul norwood bitch okay northern shot production man short northern shot production right on youtube guys you gotta go get your life with the real gay wise of houston the reason why I bring it up right here, right now, on Kareem in the Morning Show is because six-year anniversary passed on, get this, 11-14 yesterday. Six years in the making, they dropped season two, episode two, right on YouTube, man. And I tell you, my, my greatest episode on from the Real Gay Boss of Houston is episode, is, is season two. Okay, all the episodes. All right. Yo, while I'm on this, uh, while I'm on here, I want to basically say shout out to the Paul, shout out to the cast and crew over there at Nordic Shop Production. But I also want to send a shout out, a special prayer and a blessing, which I know they're amongst the angels and, and flying amongst us. Shout out to Miss Shirley Norwood, the late Shirley Norwood, who happens to be the Paul Norwood's mom, who plays Mama Patton in The Real Gay Wives of Houston. 
Now, I don't want to be a spoiler, but I'm pretty sure that I don't, if you haven't seen it, but please go and watch it. Watch it, The Real Gay Wives of Houston. I will put the link in the box, the description. Okay, go get your life. All right, Mom Patton, I love her character. I love her character. And, I'm, I, and, 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 and you know, I love her for being her. Not only just being on the stage, but being off the stage. See, that lady could have done anything but do what she did in the first season and then quit because the whole cancer. She talked about it, the whole cancer. But, you know, this Shirley Norwood, she was strong. She was strong and she fought. She fought to the very end. And when she fought to the very end, and I'm going to tell you, I'm not going to spoil anything, you'll see. You'll see that this lady continued to work. She continued to work. She continued to be the actress she was, okay, and did her thing, okay? Just my favorite part, Yolanda, Yolanda. Now that's the team, okay? Go get your life. Watch The Real Gay Wives of Houston. And then also shout out to Miss James. Miss James. Okay, you guys will come to love both of them. I promise you. And to Paul, but those are my two favorite characters. Miss James, okay? Charlie, who passed away last year. Okay? Listen, Miss James, she will, yo, I'm telling you, once when you watch it, don't and no look, 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 don't go to season two. Go to season one. I promise you, please go to season one, please, before you. Go to season two, go to season one, get your life, and then go to season two. And I promise you, you're going to love it. I promise you're going to love it. I promise you, I promise you, I promise you. You're going to love it. Uh, Miss James is uh, one of the other actors who I love. His character is off the chain. All right? He will make you laugh, 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 and laugh. But this, the whole... What what I get from the the real gay wives of Houston, and I want to say this real shit, is is they they are teaching education moments, okay? Educational moments when it comes down to the LGBTQ and INA. People who at that time was struggling to deal with some of the problems that they're dealing and acting out in the real gay wives of Houston. And it just shows through the couples. People could relate to Mom Patton. People have people like Mom Patton. Somebody could relate to Miss James. Somebody got people like Miss James. And the other cast, okay? But you will get you get your life when you watch The Real Gay Wives of Houston, okay? So those are my two favorite characters. I didn't spoil you anything. I'm just actually here to tell you about the show, Okay, because they uh six year anniversary for season two, episode two just went down on yesterday. So go up there, do it right here, right now.
And thank you guys for watching Kareem in the morning. Again, for more information, you guys can visit the blog page. Have a good one. I say I have a good one.